Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video and show you this little contraption I put together to uh, save from having to mount another hose to my house. I didn't really want to do it, so this allows me to use one hose for just watering and one hose for injecting fertilizer in as I'm watering. So that way I don't have to switch up and switch hoses into buckets and it's basically a Venturi siphon that it uses. I'll show you a little closer what uh, what it is. This is just a timer so my wife can fill the pool with regular water and not have to sit out here and wait for it to get done. And then it goes into a little Y with uh, cutoff valves on it. It's right here, up down to here. And then it's the Venturi siphon is right here. And this is a little male to female or male to male or whatever. And this is another one of the Y is just upside down with cutoffs. The reason I did a Y on both sides is because the way it works is you turn this side to on and then this one to on and this side over here will will uh, give me whatever's in that bucket and if I if I didn't have these over here these this bottom one it would draw it would draw suction through here and pull it out of this hose also, which I didn't want. So that's why I got double cutoffs on them. Anyhow, that's that. These siphons are pretty cool. They're not super accurate, but I mean, once you get used to how they work and what they use, it's pretty easy to guess what to put in there. It's a 16 to one ratio. So you just have to put in 16 to one into your mix, whatever it may be. This side is for pH. I have to pH balance my water so I I knock this down pretty hard to a pretty acidic value so that when it comes out of the hose it's the right pH. That takes some experimenting, but it's not hard to get. Once you get it and you know how much goes in per gallon, you just put it in and your water is perfectly pH'd. Then when I fertilize, I take that water, put it into this bucket, and add my Bill's Perfect Fertilizer to it works out for me to it's uh, one cup to a gallon every gallon of water in that bucket gets a cup and that's basically a teaspoon to a gallon because there's 16 teaspoons in a cup so then I know that what's coming out of the hose is 1 16 or whatever it comes out right 16 to 1 ratio it works out pretty perfect it's really close on the fertilizer and it's really close on the pH so these aren't the most accurate things in the world but they do work pretty close and it's worth it for me because I don't want to have to have a huge bucket of water here and last year I had 50 plants and it was it took seven five gallon buckets of water to basically water them and it sucked it's having to mix seven freaking buckets so anyhow that's why I did it this just allows me to have one setup going over to here and all I got to do is hit the flip or flip the switch and it'll go to one side or the other Anyhow, just wanted to show you guys my little contraption. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.